Alright, as I did for lock, I put a primer down, although I don't actually show it this time around, but I am putting a blue water activated paint on my face with a dampened beauty sponge. Also carrying it down my neck as well. And completely setting that with a translucent powder all over. It's so much easier to blend out shadows on this when it has something of a powder over top of it. I'm going to be putting a purple liner with blue undertones over top of my eyebrows as Shock's main color palette is blue and purple mostly. And diffusing it out with a spoolie brush. As for mine, I'm using a transition shade all around the whole perimeter of them. Then using a UV reactive shadow in purple, which I will link below. I'm applying it all in my crease and a bit, like a wee little bit on the lid. Depending on which scenes you actually see in the movie, Shock's color tends to change a little bit, maybe between blue, purple, green for the mask, and white. So depending on what look you're going for, you could definitely set this down and like help the purple to blend in with the blue because it doesn't really, at least in my case it didn't. So right here, I actually picked a shadow that I had that almost matched to a T and I just used that to help blend it out a little bit more. And with a dark purple eyeliner, I'm using it on my waterline and continuing that same color on the bottom. Adding an application of the same UV reactive shadow, but pink this time around, all over my lid. And blending the purple and the pink together using a fluffy blending brush. I would usually use a black mascara with most of my looks, but a lilac one seemed more fitting this time around. As for the mouth, I'm doing this the same way I did Locke's mouth, and that's just going over mine, like making the general shape with an eyeliner or a lip liner, if you will. Once I've got the general shape done, I'm coming in with a black water activated paint and going over that shape that I just did. To add in some teeth, Shock's teeth are a little bit more sporadic and like not all put together, like girl might need braces or she might just need to stop eating so much damn candy. Basically what I'm trying to say is I put a lot less teeth on her than I did on Locke and then I will on Barrel. I put the very sporadic as I stated. I actually stayed away from my lips for the most part because I didn't want to have to deal with facing them out correctly to wars my lips and then obviously I filled in the rest of the mouth with black water activated paint as any mouth illusion would be done. You can definitely set this with a matte black, but I honestly didn't want to. I was going to take it off right away anyways. And then going in with a bone white, I'm going to be going over the teeth. You can use a white for this if you'd like, but I find bone white to be a little bit more offsetting and it's perfect for teeth. Then coming in with Little Denim Dress, a liquid suede lipstick from NYX. This is not going to be my final coloration for it, but it is going to be the set outline. going around the mouth and then after that I'm going back in with the UV reactive water activated paint which I will also link in the description box down below and I'm putting that on the exact same amount that I just put down but instead I'm just going over it. It's a lot of words just to say hey, the first thing was an outline. Anyway so this is going to make it so it's UV reactive obviously. It is nice to have that coloration down just in case the secondary color isn't pigmented enough but it's up to you guys completely. And there's a smile guys. Smile pretty. As for the wig, I did obviously put on a blue wig because, well, her hair is like a dark blue, almost black tone. And then there's my mask from Hot Topic. That's it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoy. Happy Halloween, guys.